Jared Poland Fronos Photo.com. This is the critique for the weekend of the 17th and the 18th, where the theme was gifts. So there were some pretty cool ones that I went through and pulled. And I know like picking the fifth one was one of the hardest ones I did for the top five, but you you know you can go see that video. Uh, but why don't I tell you what the new theme is for the weekend of the 31st? And first, we have a new year. We're spanning a theme that covers two years. Let's just call it new. Things, well, not even things, just new. Whatever you think new is. So let's get a bunch of photos in there. Get your cameras out there for the new year uh, and get out there and shoot some cool themed photos for new. So here we go. Let's look at this photo. I said I would read the names this time. And we have Azefor. A-Z-E-F-O-R-E. -E. This is a very interesting photo of the guy standing on the river line. Um, the river line, shoreline, whatever you want to call it. Interesting clouds. I don't know how realistic that is, unless this is a really long exposure. It's just, it's interesting looking. Um, that's why it's here. Uh, so I just wanted to point it out for the critique. Um, it's, it's very difficult to see what was done here. Like, was it done naturally? Was it not done naturally? I mean, if I was to guess, I would say that the sky was not done naturally because, unless it was a really long exposure and that person was standing really, really still. Um, I mean, maybe they are. Maybe it is a long exposure because the guy does have a camera bag on. Maybe it's like a, a, a long exposure. So I'd be interested to see if that is a long exposure in low light situation that... Um, the guy was able to stand that still. That'd be very interesting. Let's hear about that. Here we've got uh, Bidstrup Speed. Yeah, I like this a lot. We got the Coca-Cola can going through the water. Um, it's not much of a gift unless you like the gift of sugar <laughs> or the gift of diabetes. I'm not against drinking soda, by the way. I like Pepsi. Um, Really nicely executed photo, dropping it into the water. Uh, it looks great. The color's great. The tones are great. The processing's great. This is a definitely an honorable mention. Um, I picked a lot of photos this week that dealt with gifts. You know, when I was trying to pick the last one, I went, I leaned towards more of something that was a gift versus something that wasn't, uh, didn't, wasn't perceived as much as a gift. But I like this shot. This is definitely an honorable mention. Um, this was an honorable, well, honorable mention, just a cool shot. I wonder how they made this happen. You know, it's uh, hit light speed. Chewy is, I think, what it was called. It was from Brian Fitz. What's up, Brian Fitz? So this is interesting. I'm curious to know if this was done with a, um, well, maybe it's done at like Legoland or something. But if this was like somebody's own Lego that they built, then they did a focus. Like you had the lights in the background and you turn the focus ring with the long exposure. You could make this effect happen to give you the long, uh, to give you the, like light speed capability. So basically what you do is when you do a longer exposure, uh, you start zoomed out and then you zoom all the way in. Or you start zoom all the way in as in like at say 35 and then you zoom it all the way out to 70, you know, or vice versa. Like I do it with the 70 to 200 where I go from 70 to 200 and you get this feel. Or when you pull it back the other way, you get the opposite feel. Try playing with that stuff for long exposures. I, sh I should probably do a video about that as well. Um, and critique on this, I would just, I think you can up the exposure slightly, pump up the contrast, uh, and that way it doesn't look as flat. Um, cool shot. I like this. This is from Chris Rem. Um, put the camera in the refrigerator. Light eggnog. That's pretty cool. The dog's look in there. You got the dog's paw up there. Got the milk on the door. You can see that he's craving whatever, you know, the eggnog. This is, it, it's a cool shot. Nice execution. Definitely an honorable mention. Nice squirrel! Back to the honorable mention. I think the honorable mention is pretty cool. It's a nice shot. Um, nice execution. Nice job there. Always a fun shot to do. Squirrel! I thought we were going to go a week without a squirrel. So here's a here's a critique of this photo. The reason I picked this out is because, you know, they put the background there. And this is from F-R-O-O-G-Z. Frugies. Frugies. Anyway, the, the, the critique here is that if you're going to put up a backdrop... Um, have the people take a step away from the backdrop because when they step away from it, it separates them from it. And when you use a shallower depth of field, I know a flash looks to be used in here or, um, um, either a flash was used or they just used strong daylight, not daylight, strong, um, uh, da, 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 not constant light. I always say constant continuous. The word is continuous. Um, 
Just step away, take three feet away from the background if you have room. And that's for anybody. If you're gonna put up a backdrop like this, make sure you leave room between your subject and the backdrop because that will allow you to basically separate them from the background, giving it some dimension. Uh, honorable mention here, what throws me off, you know, I like the trees, you know, the Christmas tree, I like the uh, the rolled up thing here, but, but why... Kitty, what are you doing? The kitty's running around. Weird. I'm at home, by the way, at my dad's house, so I'm, I'm helping Lil. Um, it just... It, cutting off right here. Why not? Why not leave more room? Why not leave just a little bit more room to keep that in there? Or come in tighter? It's just a little awkward with that. That's my critique for this, is I want it... Whoa! Kitty! Kitty's going nuts. He must have seen a squirrel. Um, yeah, sorry for the interruption. Um, but yeah, just leave a little bit more room here. I think it would be a stronger image. This one is, I, I toiled with this for the top five. But I just, it, I, I love this. I love shots like this. I love step and repeat shots. You know, I talk about that all the time when I see them. Um, but I would like this to, I'd like the colors to be more vibrant in this. I would like this to pop more. Um, to stand out at me a little bit more, uh, you know, I just, I just feel that it's, it's lacking there just a little bit, I love the gumballs, I just wish there was just a little bit more color, just, th you know, just wish it was coming out more, so maybe throwing more exposure in followed by contrast, I know I do like the, the, the low light uh, side of this image, but I would like to see it, I, I would like to see it pop a little more for myself. Um, Jesus! So what, we've got the Last Supper here um, for Jesus. And uh, it, it's just a cool shot. I thought it was, yawn. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it. It's a cool scene. Nice execution with the Christmas tree in the background. It's lit nicely. Jesus looks good with his blue eyes and Jesus type abs. And, and it's a nice shot. I really, I think it's executed very well. What is wrong with this guy's neck all the way over here, though? Did they really have extended necks like that? It's kind of strange. Um, and this is a cool architecture shot. Oh, I forgot to say the names. Hold on. We had George Haslam. We had Heimerish. Heimerish. We had Kid Kamikaze. Kid Kamikaze. And now we've got Philanthrium. I like Philanthrium. This shot I came back to a couple times. Uh, I, I like this. He said he would got all Kubrick on us. It's just a cool scene. It's nice architecture, nice framing. I think it was probably done a little too wide. This is interesting. If you use a 35 millimeter lens on a DX camera, like a 35-1.8, it gives you very, very straight lines. Uh, I see a little bit of round lines, uh, bending lines coming up around here as we go up in the frame. And that's indicative of, say, one of those 18 to 55 lenses or any wide lens, like a uh, 24 to 70, 17 to 55. You're going to see that when you get a little wider. So, you know, I would like to see the line straighter in here using something like a 35 or a 50 on a full frame. And I think it would have taken this to the next level uh, in 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 just straightness. Because when you shoot scenes like this with a, with a fixed lens, it looks pretty cool, especially like that 35 millimeter. And possibly a little bit more contrast. You know me with contrast, but that's just me. Squirrel! It's actually a good squirrel picture this time. Kitty? Um, it's a good squirrel picture this time. It's 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 done very well. Uh, it's a nice nature shot. Squirrels are insane. They get to the fur beaters all the time without a problem. And I don't think there's a bird feeder that would stop them unless you electrocuted them. Uh, but then you would possibly electrocute birds. Um, no, it's actually a nice shot. Nice job. And this is a gift. I like the little macro gift. It's really cool. I like the colors. I like the vignetting. It's natural. Um, I like the separation from the background. It just, it looks really cool. It's soft. The colors are nice. Uh, not When I say soft, I don't mean soft as in focus. I mean, it's just soft. It's appealing to my eye, and I like it. And it's from, oh, darn it, I forgot it again. Russ Ellis did the squirrel, and we got Storfl did this one. Um, and this is very nice. Look at the dog's eyes, the owner. Um... I don't, I don't know if it would be better if you saw the owner's eyes or not. I don't know if that, that would be. I'm not saying it would be or it wouldn't be, but this is, this is a nice shot. I really like what's going on here. Um, I'm not sure what else I would like. I'm not sure what I could say that would make this image better, but it's, um, I like the feel of the shot to begin with, but I think it's lacking something, and I, I can't pinpoint it. Maybe it's, 
maybe it's like a little more of the hands cupping the dog's head or not, but I love the look on the dog's face. It's a very nice image. That's why it's here, and I give it an honorable mention for Study Bear. And then we're back to the beginning with Azer 4. So that is your rapid fire. Well, that's the critique part of the weekend theme. Don't forget the new theme is new for the new year. So enjoy shooting. You can shoot Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Make sure you post before 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, Eastern Standard Time, because that's when the, the, the section gets locked. And be sure to vote for the top five as your votes matter. Each week it's been pretty darn close since we started to use the actual voting system on the website, and that helps somebody win an Adorama Picks uh, photo book, which is awesome, and one person who votes and leaves a comment in the Facebook comment box or presses the like button also has a chance to win, and they will be notified via Facebook. So thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed the critique, and please vote. Jared Poland, FroNosePhoto.com. See ya. Thank you.